Dawn till dawn. Yeah, yeah, we're with Mike now. <laughs> Again. We always seem to be starting on Mike. We usually end after some of those cutscenes. Yeah, I mean, Mike's... Well, because he's one of the people that has to make it to the end, right? So yeah. he's important. He's important. <laughs> to go over our plan, it's to... Uh, it just Ashley, seemed... Chris, Jessica, Matt, Sam, and Mike live. Pretty much Emily everybody live. And... <laughs> Emily and Josh die. Oh yeah. Emily because we don't she like a it. bitch. Yeah. And Josh because that's mercy. mercy. <laughs> it's it's either death or being a windigo for Josh and to get yeah. so much better. <laughs> and if you're wondering, is it actually painful to be a windigo? Well actually it is. You get an endless aching hunger. That's basically psychological torture, honestly. Yeah. Kind of like the, you know, the ghost, not the ghost yeah. parts, but the Barbosa and his crew in the first movie when they were cursed. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> so, honestly, it it's mercy there. And you can't get cured from it. But back, we're going to the sanatorium now. <laughs> and... And following uh, flame blow again. <laughs> Last time we did a test to see if we choose Josh at the the buzzsaw scene verbally, and then do the switch if Ashley will hate us, because Toast yeah. said otherwise. But I'm pretty sure that's the gun scene. Yeah, because I really thought it was like she got mad. <laughs> Please, no cute. Jeez. That's not good. That's really not good. Damn it. 1.03 p.m. Doggos! Awu. Right. Let's go. Awu has okay. spawned more Awu. Thus, Awu violation. Ah. His fingers just blaze through the snow. <laughs> yeah. This game's old. Uh, it, it's starting to get. I mean, games age pretty quickly. So <laughs> That's why they remake some all the time. Okay, I love remakes, but like, I don't know, some games I feel like they don't need to be remade like every generation, you know? <laughs> Resident Evil 4. Yeah, oh my god. GTA 5. <laughs> Skyrim. Yeah. The Last of Us. <laughs> mm -hmm. That one's especially known as <laughs> I don't think that ever comes up. Meh. Like. Yeah, we haven't looked at any of the totems we've collected. Yeah, I don't think that ever. Because that's. an iron door in. And... Yeah. 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 I haven't ever seen the point using Fortune Totem 2. I don't look at ever being in said situation. Mm. Or maybe if we go down the lovey dovey route with Mike and Emily, we'll get that. Because usually I just have Mike say, You a bitch. Yeah, because maybe that's the problem with just having everyone the conditions <laughs> for that. Awesome. 
Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? Man, That's a good question. in the 50s? <laughs> That's when you know it's shit. I mean, come on, you're saying something like... All the rage. Yeah, from the 40s until like the 60s at, at least. <laughs> I think they started showing it really um. showing down. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. Right. Cause to be honest, I really not <coughs> sure what really happened during the 70s. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Besides disco, that's not the only thing I know about the 70s. <laughs> the I know for a fact that the pop culture icons came to be, such as stuff like Transformers or Gundam, Godzilla, Hello Kitty, a lot of things from Japan. <laughs> uh, of course, how much anime I watch. And I know there's a ton. One reason you would ever use this path is to get this totem. Ah. <laughs> Again, I love this totem. I'm gonna show you why. Because the Wendigo hasn't officially been fully seen by the viewer at this point in the game. So if you go here and do that. Congratulations. Wendigo. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. You've already seen glimpses of it. <clears throat> yeah. But no full on you saw everything. Yeah, but... Okay, your first playthrough... Would you really have guessed that's a Wendigo? Because, like, it doesn't look like a traditional depicted one. <laughs> I mean, you would still know it's a freaky ass monster. That is true. <sighs> Thankfully, you can't accidentally walk off this. Um, I know. If I was doing this in real life, I totally would. I totally fall. Trust me, I've actually tried it. You can't fall off it. Don't worry. And I say don't worry in case you are actively playing it at the moment. Oh. That's different. Distressed other mammals. A woo violation. Should be quite scary for Sansu Papyrus. Yeah. All the dog knights. There's so many of them. The funny part is, is they live like, near them. Too. I was gonna say they live in the town where most of them also live. <laughs> That's just bad planning. Oh. Someone really wanted to take a peek inside. Ah. 
I'm impressed at the strength of that wood. Honestly, I'm s that that flimsy rotted piece of wood outstrength steel a steel safe yes an old steel safe but still no less a steel safe yeah my point being what where this place have a <laughs> that's not my problem. Huh. Intrigue on Blackwood Mountain. Oh, right. These places were basically prisons. Yeah. That's probably why they were bored. <laughs> Ratman. tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Bauer. Oh, Bowen. Getting bitten is fine. Yeah. But it doesn't change the fact that I'm going to shoot Emily. Yeah, because they don't do that, do you? If I don't sacrifice her to Hannah, of course. Oh, Honestly, shit. Gross. I'm going to be very tempted to just be like, hey, kill me! <laughs> <laughs> After this, this series will probably pick up the glory. Yeah. I mean, we have the game already, just. <laughs> yep. We don't want to be playing too many games at one time. <laughs> yep. So we're doing that for our convenience. Besides, I'm sure you guys want to see us actually finish something. <laughs> And prepare for a jump scare, people. And body horror. So, here's the thing. Should I chop off his fingers or break the machete? Which do you want to do this time? No, you don't have to do this either. You can just walk off and keep both. But this time, because I've done that before... Break the machete. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? Break the machete? Okay. I'm doing it just to do it. As I showed, we could have just walked away and never interacted. I The entire system's also bolted into uh, the, to the floor, so Windigo couldn't actually escape because he would be crying out of metal. But then again, they have destroyed salt and confinement doors. Yeah, that's why I was wondering if it, I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have actually offered that. Can I being attacked by the dog, just so you guys know. <laughs> Mike keeps fingers and loses machete. At what price? Fried himself- Fried? Yes, he fried his fingers. 
Bears. Mm, the tastiest. Mike freed himself from the bear trap at the cost of the machete. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God. Oh. Oh. Some saw type shit here. I know. Oh. Again, we just did this because we thought it would be fun. Oh. That's why we jammed his hand into a bear trap. Because we thought it would be fun. Does that make us psychopaths? I mean. Watching humans suffer, yeah. By definition. <laughs> well, this place just gets better. Wait, this means he's actually managed to kill one. There's a still alive. Oh, there's another one. Fuck if I know. I think it was the one over here. That is the one with the label. No, this is the guy that was eaten completely. Yeah, the eaten completely guy. They ate his entire corpse. So that's the wrong one. Is it this one? I mean, it's one of them. <laughs> There's three. Yes, this is the one with the card. Oh, fucking sick! That's, that's just a regular person, not a Wendigo. Look at, look at the eyes. There's color in them. See? It's white. Uh, somebody like... Look at his stomach and how he was eaten. And that's just bodily okay, decay. Oh, okay. And yeah, this one. Uh, what was in this one? I mean, all of them are supposed to be tense and horrifying. Where's the super more jump scare, though? Tag day attack by inmate. Fatal laceration to throw. Hmm. Yeah. No corpse either. What if we went back from the where, way we came instead of up through there? Cause I've never tried that. Okay. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, we have what we need. Let's head back the proper way. I, I think we can at least. Yeah, see no dogs that are actually dangerous. So yeah, usually you just head forward and get more content, but if you actually think about it, you don't actually have to uh, do what the game wants. You can just walk back or ignore blame traps. So, oh, fuck. Forward it is then. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with a linear game. <laughs> I was hoping that we could go back the way we came. Yeah, just out of choice. I mean, <laughs> this game's old, you can't change it. But there's nothing wrong with the game being linear. I actually like linear games. <laughs>
I like open world. I mean, I like open world too. <laughs> but let me be specific. I I like proper open worlds. Fallout 4 is not a proper open world. Fallout New Vegas is. Oh, okay. Is there any keys I can fail? Punch the dog. Okay. Punch the dog. Oh. Okay. Too late for that. <laughs> I wasn't Easy going way. to anyway. Easy. Yeah, punch it. Yeah. Laziness pays off. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm still gonna give him the ball. Cause he's a good boy. So the only thing you gain from I I'll uh, the wolves fat and getting stuff for Mike here, such as the machete, the dog, and whatnot, just gives you more second chances when you come back to go through the sanatorium with the Wendigos. And honestly, it's pretty easy enough. Say, he has so much plot armor that even if you fail all of that, he still survives because he's needed for the bad ending. Yeah. Funny how that works. Mike didn't kick the wolf. Mike made a friend. And then yeah. he gave him a bone. Easy, boy. Easy. Oh. That's so good, boy. There you go, That's dog. right. <laughs> Can't wait till... Ooh. When we get to Metal Gear Solid Five. <sighs> Because we're in the middle of Metal Gear Solid 3, I'm gonna have us record Metal Gear Solid 5. Because, Dee Dee. Okay. Can we record? If we ever get to play the one with uh, Senator Arnold, can we record that one? Senator Arnold! Ah, yes! The finest <laughs> senator. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> No, so, it's not Senator Armstrong. What have we here? <laughs> that, I believe, is actually the last in the timeline. <laughs> Me is the deal. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5 is basically the explanation to Big Boss's greatest crime. <laughs> 
Nice. Uh, crimes against his own principles, his own human nature, and yes, war crimes. Uh, all of the crimes. <laughs> He developed a new type of war. Oh no, <laughs> snake, no. <laughs> and guess what it's called? What? Meme warfare, yes. <laughs> You're welcome! What can I say? What can I say except delete this? <laughs> If you ever shoot a lock, back up a bit so shrapnel doesn't hit you. Just a recommendation. Feel I mean, free not to just for shooting it. a lock, but doing anything. <laughs> if you have the choice. Yeah. And if you're using a semi auto, don't press the gun against it. That'll cause barrel depression. Or, uh. Your slide will, uh. De lock and then you won't be able to fire. In which case, just use a fucking revolver. Oh, lower capacity. Shut up. You're not going to use more than probably two or three rounds to begin with. Do you remember those people that like were shooting the washer machine in the shower? Like, <laughs> almost hit the camera. <laughs> Don't fuck with Tannerite. It's a dumb idea. <laughs> of course, locked. With the weird lock too. <clears throat> okay. He sees shielding himself from the shrapnel. Yeah. Again, I would recommend backing up. The sparks are caused by. Uh, chipping from the rust and yes, of course don't don't shove over barrels of fuel that's just asking for trouble <laughs> especially where you're standing then he blatantly ignores the fire several times I see it sends enough to run after he realized what he'd done. Uh, Mike. Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Mike. Or not Mike. Matt. <laughs> and Emily were like, bad And that. Uh, and actually that but I think between the uh, so right before they met up with Chris and Ash there was a pre-order bonus DLC part like part of the story is locked away by pre-order which boo but <laughs> And apparently people say that makes them better. Well, we checked it out. It doesn't. They're still trashed here. Or at least Emily is. I mean, yeah, it's not Matt. Matt. <laughs> Matt's just sad. <laughs> he deserves better. <laughs> yeah. And Emily's just using him. We all know this. God, and she's still sleeping with Mike. <laughs> so we'll call this an episode and start one more part for archiving. Sound good? Sure. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you next time.